from either the high school level or here, you've had so many athletes go on to mm -hmm. play ECHL, AHL, yeah. NHL. What is it like to see them kind of fulfill their dreams and know that you were a part of that? I think that's the that's the really fun part when when you take uh, so you you have a, a player that's that in, in Nick Letty at, at Eden Prairie who's Mr. Hockey first mm -hmm. round draft pick. Uh, everybody believed that at some point Nick was going to play in the National Hockey League. So to see that happen for Nick was great, right? Mm -hmm. um, but but that wasn't a surprise. Nick was supremely talented and worked and and, and deserves to be a you know he's going to have a really long career. But then there's other players that maybe sort of didn't didn't have the same expectations mm -hmm. on them at, at a young age, and and they they just continue to take advantage of opportunity and opportunity and slowly get better and better and better and better. You know, you take a kid like Sean Walker who who's playing with the L.A. Kings now and doing a great job. Sean came you know he played junior C and then. Uh, in, in the OJHL and then came to Bowling Green and there wasn't, Sean didn't have 10, 12, 15 scholarship offers. Sean came to Bowling Green for an opportunity and then when Sean got here, he took full advantage of the opportunity and, and just got better every year and now is in a position where he's living out his dream playing in the National Hockey League. And then there's other kids that maybe the National Hockey League isn't, isn't the end result, but, mm -hmm. but they've done a lot of things throughout their time and then they get to go on you know Tyler Spezia gets to go on and play for the walleye and then now he's in Grand Rapids in the American League or or other guys that didn't think they'd even play at all after college that are continuing to play but they also have a degree in their back pocket which mm -hmm. when it's time for them to put their hockey bag away they, they're going to do great in whatever uh, they choose to do in, in, as far as the real world goes so those are those are situations we try to remind our guys all the time you know, when we get when we get emails or you know phone calls or someone grabs in and say, hey, just by the way, I just want you to know that that uh, so and so took time after my son's Mike game. You know, he was standing in the lot because there is a lot of our our building is a is a busy building and and so one of the cool things about you know playing at Bowling Green and then and then being a part of our program is that it's just not like our campus is not you know secluded and, and, mm -hmm. and restricted. It's, it's pretty open, especially the Slater Family Ice Arena. So our guys have an opportunity to interact a bunch with youth hockey players from all over Northwest Ohio. And so when you get someone that emails you or calls you and says, hey, I just want you to know that, that uh, Max Johnson or Evan Doherty or, or, or this guy, they, they, they were unbelievable to my son or my daughter. Those, those things are really cool too, you know, because again, it goes back to what I talked about earlier with the people. We have great people involved in this program. And, and we believe if you have great people who, who continue to, to focus on the right things and, and continue to do the things that, that really matter, you're gonna have the success. And so that, those kinds of things reinforce that. So it means, it means a bunch for every kid that goes on and signs a, a pro contract, that, that's great. We get to put them on the wall up here with the, another 42 guys. And then for every kid that, that goes on and is a great, whatever he's supposed to be great at, that those are, that's equally as, as rewarding. With the support of the Bowling Green community, last year you guys played in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and there was a good chunk of mm -hmm. people that made the trip all the way out there. Same thing for the WCHA finals yep. out in Mankato last year. What does it mean to have that type of support? You know, it, it, it's until you've been here and experienced it as a, as a player, um, I hear coaches all the time in, in other sports who maybe don't know, you know, like Coach Huger and Coach Stacy mm -hmm. value Bowling Green because they were part of the, pro, the the men's basketball program over there. There's other coaches that that understand, you know, John Powers with, with men's golf. John grew up in Bowling Green and, and loves Bowling Green, but there's people that come in from the outside as, as coaches and as student athletes that they don't understand how unique of a community Bowling Green is until they're a part of it. And so when you talk about the support, you know, what, you know, you come into Slater Family Ice Arena and there's, you know, 3,000 people in there and, and uh, you know, and again, Bowling Green's not a, we don't, it's not a 300,000 person town. You know, we don't have just all these people. People really value being a part of it. it and it's, it's, uh, it's something that they commit to. It's part of their, you know, some people have a, a lake home and some people have a camper and some people have a Harley Davidson. People in Bowling Green have Bowling Green Athletics. They, it, it matters to them. They buy season tickets for multiple events. And, and so that's a really cool thing. And I think it's something that makes, um, Bowling Green unique and special and I know that that both uh, Coach Carr and, and Coach Balkovec throughout the recruiting process me recruiting them to come here in, in the interview process everywhere they went they talked about the people and people talked to them about hey this is going to be this is going to be a place you really really enjoy because of the people and so for us to to have the support we have and and, and the people that are so invested in our program it's it's humbling it's 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 uh, it's flattering it's it's something that you know, you, you always have to remind yourself and, and, and be appreciative of and say thanks for it.